welcome back to my channel with Sunny at NG Craft Art. In this video, I'm going to make another aromatherapy candle burner. And this time, as you can see, I already made this wire thing. So the plan is to make like a mushroom scenery. So like this should supposed to be mushrooms. And then this is like a tree here. I don't know. I just had that image in my head and hopefully it works um so like the candle would be right here and then the this bowl should be here um yeah i just made this so i have an image first and now i'm gonna you know secure some stuff using this aluminum foil i don't really know how it's gonna go but i'm just gonna try um yeah something like this oops this. okay now what i have to do is somehow somehow arrange this three points so they can hold this bowl that's the plan this one doesn't count. He will not be a holder. I want them only on three points. So first I think we have to cut this. This is too long. Around here. Okay. Right. And then this mushrooms. Mm, like this. And then like this. Mm. Are they gonna hold it? I don't know. I think I can secure this using some glue, hot glue, so it doesn't fall over and over again, hopefully. And this is for you guys. It's really just a little decoration. I bought another batch of this air dry clay because I used up mine for the torso that incense holder that I made before. Now I have new one, fresh clay. First I'm gonna make the base. So this is the um, aromatherapy candle holder many days later and now I'm just gonna start to paint it.
finishing the painting honestly if you ask me i'm not happy with the outcome in my opinion this is just way too plain i added a little bit cold porcelain clay here to fix the leaf but yeah i cannot live with this it's just just some mushroom grass leaves stones and a little tree it's not enough for me so if you are at this stage and you like it just let it be like that but for me it's it's just it's too plain i cannot live with that so I decided to add some little things. I mixed up my cold porcelain clay. I know that I'm used, using this air dry clay for this piece, just because that's what I know is usable for candles. But then I think it's okay if I use some um, cold porcelain clay for the decoration. And I'm also gonna use um, my epoxy clay because I want to make a butterfly and I want the butterfly to have um, wings, of course and I want the wings to be strong and stable and steady and I want them to dry fast so I can continue my project faster and that's why I'm going to use epoxy clay for just the butterfly wings and with that this project becomes a multi-clay project <laughs> from dust air dry clay to cold porcelain clay and epoxy clay but I, I don't know hopefully it's okay hopefully you don't mind that I mix so many so many mediums in one project but you know that's that's the thing about clay like every single clay has their own personality character, characteristic and they act different they have different pros and cons they have different views so I like to mix up uh, oh no, I like to use different clays for different purposes. I think that's also the reason why different clays existing. So, you know, why don't utilize the function of them? And if I need three different clays in one project, then let it be. So, this clay cures very fast, so that's why I'm gonna make the butterfly wings at first. And then you can go on with the other parts and then I hope you know after that the um, wings are hard enough so I can paint on them and then I want to stick them into the butterfly body and then attach the body to the piece
so this is the final piece i did some steps of camera which is um coating it with varnish clear varnish this is the one and then i painted the bottom using gold acrylic paint and yeah that's it actually so now you're done and i'm very happy with the outcome after adding this little decorative pieces it's not as boring anymore it looks more realistic to me and i love it and this can not only be uh, aromatherapy candle burner which i planned before it can be just a um, very pretty ornament or decorative piece it can also be just a candle holder like this i'm gonna burn the candle first of course please make sure that you still use this kind of tea light so the wax doesn't go anywhere because this is still flammable it is just clay it's not real clay it's paper clay so it can still burn so watch out but then because we don't have anything on top of here it should be okay then um, i'm gonna put on the aromatherapy and then pouring some water in and some of the aromatherapy oil and then we just have to wait until it diffuse and spread the beautiful scent okay um this is the little candle aromatherapy candle holder burner whatever um, on my little setup i think it looks very pretty and it works it's currently evaporating the fume and it smells so pretty just want to give you a little tour close up there's the butterfly the ladybug mushrooms another ladybug and then our little caterpillar it's just so pretty i like it i'm very happy with the outcome um so yeah if you want to recreate it have fun or use your own imagination and you can follow me on instagram if you want to contact me or share your work with me i would really appreciate it and thank you so much for watching and see you in the next video bye